What is going on everyone? I'm Sir James coming to you guys with another video and for this video I just want to go ahead and share with you guys what I picked up over at a place called MR International. What's cool about the place is that they sell a variety of different items from weaponry, high quality images from like all kinds of different things, um, knickknacks and like rugs or something like that. I'm not sure what to deal with that but basically it's a cool place that sells a variety of different items there. Just nothing that has to do with the video games. Uh, but anyways the reason I went there today is because unfortunately they are moving but the upside is is that they have everything in stock 50% off and you know thanks to Christmas and of course the steam winter sale uh, I don't have a lot of spending money left so I went there to try to see if I could snag a couple items before they move out before I almost never see them again or unless if I find out where they moved to but anyways here are the two items I got which I'm really pleased about on um, the other item I'll show you guys here in just a couple minutes which will hopefully be hinted within this video somewhere within the background I'm not gonna say exactly what it is the other item, I'm not sure how many of you are uh, fans of The Legend of Zelda, but I got this really cool little uh, replica thing here. Uh, I'm not sure the correct name for the shield and sword, but if you want to leave that in the comment section down below to the correct name of these items, you're welcome to do so. Uh, I said it's been many years since I played The Legend of Zelda. But first off, here is the shield. It's basically made of wood. I'm not sure why the autofocus is not working. Here, let me auto adjust it. So it's basically a mixture of wood and a little bit of metal as well. But that is the uh, shield. And of course it also came with two sets of these swords. Pretty cool and basically it goes together like this. You take one side, put it through. You take the other side, put it through, and basically looks like that all together. So pretty cool there. I got this for about uh, $25. They had about three different ones of these. There's the smaller one, which was this one. They had a bigger one, which was full metal, fortunately out of my price range. And they also had a life-size version of the shield, but it was in color black. But the only downside to that one was that it was chipped on the bottom. And of course it was missing like the handles and stuff to like hold it but uh, I've seen it on Amazon for like 50 bucks so it'd be a lot cheaper to get it on Amazon but I just got this one right here because it was pretty cool something I could hang up and you know just really cool it together because like I said the store is gonna be you know leaving here soon I want to be able to snag a couple unique items there uh, the other item is I'm not sure how many of you are fans of the Kingdom Hearts franchise as much as I am but there's been one particular item that I've been geeking out about that hopefully one day I would get or even make. And um, check it out. That is this really cool replica Keyblade right here. Pretty cool size. And actually, this does really work with key my figurine right here, King Mickey. Uh, it has this really peg handle. Okay, I'm just kidding. It's not really this right here. It's actually the life-size version behind me. So let me go ahead and grab that. That is right. I now wield the Keyblade. This is actually made of wood, 100% made of wood, except for this little piece right here. Um, but it's a really damn good replica. They also have the metal one there, which I've seen sell on Amazon. But unfortunately, from what I've seen in terms of reviews, even after holding it, um, this part right here for the metal one is loose and not even tightened. I'm not sure if there's a way to tighten it or not. Um, but it was a little bit of damage as well, which was unfortunate. So I stuck with the wood one because, you know, let's say, if, you know, years over time, you know, a little bit of damage happens. I could easily buy paint and repaint it. Simple as that. Or I can make it look like King Mickey's, which is the, you know, the gold tip and the silver handle. So I basically make whatever version I want. They also had another keyblade there in black. I think it was the one from Nightmare Before Christmas, if I wasn't mistaken. Uh, I, unfortunately, I didn't have a camera, so I couldn't take a picture of it. But yeah, this is uh, really cool. There's some really good weight to it, 100% made of wood. So now, if the uh, Heartless decide to attack me, I'm you know ready to defend myself and, of course, this world and other worlds as well. Uh, but anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, don't forget, I will be making a video on Christmas Day showing you guys what I got as well. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. And remember, oh wait, this isn't a Gamer Fusion video, but remember guys, happy holidays and be safe out there.